Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the front felt on your dryer. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a putty knife, and a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver, and a wire brush. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, because we will be working near some electrical circuits, we will need to disconnect the power. So if your dryer has a cord on it, simply remove it from the socket. If it's a hardware dryer, we'll need to locate the fuses or breakers and disconnect the power at that point. Now next with a putty knife, we'll go in between the top panel and the front panel. About four inches in from either side, there's a spring clip. Just to press the clip and then lift up on the top. Then we can hinge that top upwards. And if you're close enough to a wall, you could just lean it up against the wall. But if you need to disconnect it, simply remove the ground strap from the back and then lift it off of the rear hinge. We can set that aside. Next, we need to disconnect the two wire harnesses on the right-hand side. And there are two screws, one on either side, just below the console. And you can either use a number two Phillips or a number two square head screwdriver to remove those two screws. We'll just grasp that whole front panel and console assembly and pull it forward at the top. That releases some spring clips along the sides. And we can tilt it forward. And next we'll just lift it off with two hooks on the bottom of the base frame. And then we can put that on a suitable work surface. Now that we have the front panel on a suitable work surface, we're going to take a sharp putty knife, a nice stiff one, then we'll get in under the leading edge of the felt and start scraping it off. So we just remove that right to the very end. not to damage the top felt. Now we'll take the wire brush, we'll clean up this surface to get all the extra felt off of it so we have a nice clean dry surface to, for the glue to bond to. Now once we've got that surface free of any loose lint or felt. You should probably put a little paper towel or a rag around it before we put the adhesive on it because it is very sticky stuff. So we're just going to put a couple of beads along that surface where the felt is going to lay and then we'll let it set up. Put it on sparingly at first so that you don't Get any large runs. Put a little extra cement at the very end just to make sure that we get good adhesion there. Then we're going to let that tack up for a minute or two before we apply the felt. We'll very carefully Roll that felt onto the drum. Being very careful not to get any of the adhesive on the outside. Now we'll let that set up until it's good and dry before we attempt to replace the front panel. Now to reinstall the front panel, we'll line up the two slotted holes on the bottom of that panel 
with the two tabs that are located on the base frame. Make sure they're seated all the way down. We'll make sure we tuck the wire harness inside. And then we'll need to lift up slightly on the drum so that it clears the front felt and glide. Snap that into place, then we'll replace the two screws. Next, we'll reconnect the wire harnesses. Now we're ready to put the main top back on. Slide it over the rear hinges. Reconnect the ground wire to the top. And lower it into position, and then just press down on either side until it engages those clips. We're ready to reconnect the power, and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.